Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining. We're gonna give it a couple more minutes before we get started, just to let everyone else um, get a chance to join. So thank you for being so patient. All right, everyone, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, welcome and hello to all of our incoming RAMs. Welcome to summer orientation. I am Emma Sammons and I'm the orientation coordinator for marketing communications. I am from Mystic, Connecticut, and I'm majoring in international studies and Spanish language and literature, and I'm on the pre-law track. Hey everyone, my name is Bobby McCormick and I'm the orientation coordinator for operations and logistics. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, majoring in history and minoring in business administration, and I'm also on the pre-law track. Hi everyone, my name is Nicole Briganti. I am the graduate student intern for student formation. I'm from Westchester, New York, and I graduated from Fordham in the spring with a BS in mathematics and a minor in psychology. And I'm currently pursuing my master's in adolescent mathematics at Fordham's graduate school. Of Good morning, everyone. I'm Lou Vernacci, uh, the orientation coordinator for staff training and development. I'm from Monmouth County, New Jersey, and majoring in psychology with a double minor in philosophy and bioethics on the pre-law track. Hello, everyone. I'm Bella Ayazetta. I'm the other orientation coordinator for staff training and development. I'm from Bethel, Connecticut, and am double majoring in humanitarian studies and theology. I'm also minoring in peace and justice studies, and I have an honors concentration in American Catholicism. While we're not together on campus, we're so excited to see you all virtually. Today we have a few wonderful presenters and a Q&A session set up for you all to learn more about what your time at Fordham will look like. You can find the schedule for the day on our university's website and our very own guidebook. We also have pre-recorded videos uh, regarding involvement on campus life, residential life, commuter life, and more information uh, about any transfers at Fordham College or Hill. We hope these sessions are informative and help you all to feel more comfortable with your transition to life at Fordham. We will begin with our first speaker and continue the day from there. We hope you enjoy the next two days. And again, welcome to Fordham. For our first session, we would like to introduce Dean Rogers. He is the Dean of Students here at Fordham and is here to welcome you all and get your day started. Welcome to Fordham University. I'm Christopher Rogers, Dean of Students. Before we get started, I'd like to thank our excellent student orientation coordinators and their leader, our Associate Director for Student Formation, Thomas Balistrasi, and Dean Cody Arcuri's entire team in student involvement 
for all of their hard work on today's program. We take some pride in our orientation program here at Fordham, and I've seen it occur over some 28 years here at the university. But like so many of you across the country and across the world, we have never had a year as challenging as this one. So I'm quite grateful to them for getting all of this up online, something we usually do in person here at the university and at our Rose Hill campus. And to you, congratulations. Your presence here is no small achievement. To sit where you sit today took a lot of work over many years, sometimes tears, often great joy, victories, as well as defeats. Most of all, persistence, faith, and tremendous patience. And I am, of course, talking to the parents with us today. And to those students listening today with parents and families in the room or to your left or to your right, turn to your left or right and just say thank you. You have to listen to me now. I'm the Dean of Students, though I can't see whether you're doing so or not. That's okay. Yes, I know. I'm indeed pandering to your parents and families. Your folks and I will talk more later in the day during my live What to Expect session. But this morning, some words for our new students as well. As a parent myself, of course, I know full well that congratulations are also very much in order for you, our new students, this class of 2024. Your family, though they can't be thanked enough, were a critical part of the equation, but it has been your work, study, service, and perseverance that got you here, a place where we approach education in a way that may be different than what you have experienced before. Students educated in our tradition, what is known as the Jesuit, Catholic, or Ignatian tradition, are meant to instinctively appreciate a basic set of ideas, a way of proceeding that each student and graduate will find familiar, and that is learned in a place like our university. Welcome is behind us. My job this morning is to, perhaps for the first time for some of you, explain these first principles, the principles that set our approach to education apart and ask that you reflect on these ideas as you start your careers with us. To think about these ideas as you work summer jobs, or post on Instagram, as you start packing at home for your move, as you post on Instagram again, as you connect through social media with members of the incoming class and think about courses, as you Snapchat that you are updating Instagram again and then post a tastefully edited photograph of yourself packing, please reflect on these ideas. Reflect on the knowledge we have here at Fordham that these principles will be key in preparing you for a day that at this moment has seemed to generations of students like you listening at orientation to people like me to be very far off, but that older folks listening today will know is anything but. I'm of course talking about commencement that day you graduate, that day that you and the future friends, romances, husbands, wives, rivals and colleagues among you, but at this moment unknown, will, as we put it at the university, commence, walk across the stage to receive the degree you have earned, and afterward through our gates, into the world, and into the rest of your lives. To commence is to begin, after all, and we begin today with commencement, that end in our minds. We begin with the hope that you will take a piece of this place with you, having spent with us these years that are ahead of you today, reflecting on the simple but profound questions. What kind of person will you be when you have finished at Fordham? What kind of life will you lead? If we have done our jobs, you and us, we will, in the words of Father McShane, our president, be able to proclaim to the world in the act of handing you your diploma that you have achieved not only the intellectual standards for which your university is known, but high standards of competence, conscience, and compassionate commitment to the human family, qualities that graduates of our university have, since 1841, been called to bring to the larger world outside our gates where they are in such dire need, and where the very mission of the university urges us to go and use these values in service to others. The first of these immortal values, these principles on which I would ask that you reflect between now and when you arrive here at Rose Hill, is something called unity of heart and mind. Unity of heart and mind as a principle of our approach is a challenge 
to you and to us. This idea challenges you and us to assure that the core education of your intellect is strengthened and made useful by the ability to pause and listen to your heart, to the human, moral, faith, and spiritual narratives inextricably intertwined with the core intellectual elements of your education. These stories, gleaned from your lived experience on and off our campus, make meaningful the discoveries of reason you find with our faculty in the conventional classroom, and will aid you in thinking critically about the effects the new knowledge and powers your education provides you will have on our fellow human beings, our communities, and ourselves in the classrooms of lived experience on and off the campus. We hope this will happen not at some hazy future time when someone may have told you real life begins, but here and now today among those you will call your friends and colleagues in the knowledge that you are already living real life. This idea, this unity of heart and mind can be found on our university's great seal, Sapientia et Doctrina. Reminding us here at Fordham what it is we have been about since 1841 working to assure that our graduates approach the lives they lead in a manner that makes it obvious they come from a Jesuit Catholic education, from Fordham, possessed not merely of learning or doctrina, but by the wisdom, sapientia, that must guide how that learning is used. Women and men eager to take the raw material of education they have been privileged to find here over four years and use it to engage for life in the constant and sometimes uncomfortable balancing act between heart and mind, always considering the question of should I with the question of can I, committed to reflecting on the way we best balance rights, respect, and responsibility. Men and women in as many walks of life as you can imagine, constantly driven to use what they have gained with us here to care for one another and our world in better and more effective ways through whatever vocation calls. And true to our Catholic tradition, among them Latin names for virtually everything, we call this care cura personalis, care for the individual person. And it is another of the values that we hold dear. The hope embodied in our value of Cura Personalis is that when you leave on a no doubt beautiful afternoon just short of four years from now, you are able to look back at an unforgettable career here with us and with one another on this special 85 acres here in the Bronx. Through times of unity and disagreement, debate and consensus, all the while aware acutely of our responsibility to come to know one another, to care for one another to help each other when in need and respect one another, understanding that the degree of dignity and justice that we assure for our brothers and our sisters is perhaps the truest measure of us as people and community and ultimately country. As the orientation staff bringing you this program today and who will greet you more than 200 strong in August demonstrate, and as I have seen every year for the past 28 here at Fordham, our students embrace the idea that we are all our brothers and our sisters keepers, as this is fitting for a university founded and maintained by the faith, compassion, and devotion of the thousands of women and men who have walked these halls and these paths before you. And as we are Fordham, the Jesuit University of New York, we do so in the bold tradition of our founder, Archbishop Dagger John Hughes, with energy derived from our convictions without apologies for these values and traditions I have described, but giving generously of our time to share and explain them to the new, the unfamiliar, and even to the skeptical, with open arms to those from all walks of life, all faiths, and even no faith at all, daily exercising the gifts of expression and rational argument you will refine here with us, something we call eloquentia perfecta. The arguments found here will refine and make personal the principles and underpinnings of your own life's work. The first Jesuits have left us this legacy, their understanding that serving God was best done through serving others, a concept so fundamental to our way of educating that it is carved into the cornerstones of many of the halls on our campus. AMDG, Ad Maiorum Dei Glorium. 
the motto of the Jesuits, the society that started and daily breathes life into the university you now enter. A motto made real by the restless reflection and labor of St. Ignatius, the inventor and author of our approach, founder of the Jesuits, those who hand these ideas down to us and through us to you through 500 years of history. Hopefully today, and certainly when we see you here with us in the fall, you will see a restlessness, what is called in Jesuit education, the magis, in the best of our students, our staff and our faculty. For Ignatius and the women and men who have followed Fordham Saint at colleges and universities like our own, ask the quite simple question, if God is indeed in all things, doesn't that include all of our brothers and our sisters? And how can we approach our mission to educate them and the service to others this education makes possible, except with all our hearts, except with all our passion and the relentless but patient pursuit of something better than the world as it is today? This has been the challenge of Fordham's education for more than 175 years, and you will be anything but alone as you rise to it. Even now, you join generations of Fordham students and alumni, hundreds of thousands strong across the world. Even now, you are among the companions who will accompany you on the next four years adventure and beyond. An adventure in which you will be challenged, first and foremost, to embrace the life of the mind inside the classroom and the priceless exposure it will provide to a diversity of ideas, ones you embrace and ones you may not, ones that inspire and even ones that offend. Challenge to bring that knowledge out of the heart, experience and on and off campus. Challenge to uphold the highest standards of personal conduct toward others and yourself, and to reflect on the meaning and impact of the decisions that you make in your daily life. Challenge to understand that what may at first seem like an individual decision inevitably becomes a habit and that habits become something even the ancients knew would eventually form your character. Challenge to place others before yourselves, not only in those places of dire need outside of our gates, but among friends and colleagues here in your new home. Challenge to remain bothered, to reflect always not merely on what you can do, but to restlessly contemplate what you should do, and to be moved to take sometimes bold and selfless action when the right path reveals itself. Action that may have a cost, that may risk popularity and approval, that may be truly countercultural. Challenged in this modern environment of constant debate and disagreement to embrace the idea that you are here not to shelter from the ideas of others, but to learn from them and about them, to debate them with passion, but without malice for others, even those that may bother you and challenged to not merely attend class in this extraordinary centuries-old community I describe, but to truly be a part of it, like the student leaders who have brought you this orientation program. Passing Fordham's values to coming generations, just like we pass them to you today. Think on these concepts this summer, before you arrive in the fall. Unity of heart and mind, Cura Personalis, Eloquentia Perfecta, Ad Maiorum Dei Glorium, and the restless challenge of the Magis, the unshakable belief that this world can be better and that it depends on you to be so. God bless you and welcome to Fordham. Rogers for taking the time to speak with us. It was a great start to our day. We will now split for our academic welcome sessions. Please be sure to join the correct link back at our summer orientation program website. There is a Fordham College at Rose Hill presentation and a Gabelli School of, Pre Gabelli School of Business presentation. They can each be found on the website you signed up for. Thank you.